How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're jumping into ranked with my Cyber Angel deck. Now, I have not completed the Cyber Angel deck so what you are seeing is kind of like a crappy prototype of what it should be looking like. Uh, it should look like, um, you should definitely have three Dakini. This card is like the boss monster in the deck. This card is OP and you probably need three. Uh, another card that's really good is Edaten. Uh, that card is really good for searching. I do run the Cyber Angel Ben 10. I've heard some people don't even run this card. I mean, I, I run it because it's a good material to pitch. Uh, if you do pitch it, you do get a search. I think that's a pretty good good trade-off, uh, especially when you get to do some like shenanigans plays where you pitch one for the other and then add and then add and do a, bunch, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, basically, uh, put, throwing a, a Ben 10 away for Eda 10, uh, that really helps. And then going from there, it, it, it goes pretty far. You get to extend pretty hard. Uh, so, uh, beside from those three, we're also running a bunch of other stuff. We're running triple Sonic Bird, only because I got lucky with the Sonic Bird. Managed to get three. I don't know how I got lucky, but I just did. I managed to get my Sonic Bird and Dark Paladin, or at least my second Dark Paladin, uh, both in the same 10 pack. So, and, and it was in, it was the first 10 packs that I pulled. Um, when I when I was gonna make a farm deck for uh, Alexis, so there you go. I, I it was just meant to be. So I got that Sonic Bird. I only have one Senju. Do not have another Senju. Just, I'm dealing with one, which kind of sucks because I have all the all the all the spells, and I just cannot get Senju. I, I'll have a handful of spells and a Sonic Bird, and I'll consider it a break. Uh, we also run the Sphere Karibos just to block from our hand. Uh, because we are using Master of Rights 2, which does put a Master of Rights on the field, or not Master of Rights, uh, what was that card? Ritual Cage, I mean, which is supposed to protect us from, or at least the rituals from card effects. Uh, I don't know if it's working properly, it, it might, but I, I feel like I have gotten wrecked by cards in the past. I think you're supposed to get protected from targeting and stuff, but I, I think I've had them be targeted before. Uh, another thing you might be me noticing, we do have one Cyber Petite Angel, only one. I uh, have to level up Alexis even more to level 38 to get my second, which is insane. Uh, but this is a really good card. I definitely recommend ru running it in the deck. Uh, we're also running Junamis just because she's a fairy, 1800 four star, so it's it's still a viable card to draw. Uh, it can it can let you survive a turn. Uh, and then on top of all that, we're running Sky Scourge and Rise just because we run so many fairies. And we're gonna be sending some Spear Karibos to the grave, so this guy could be live. Could be quite possible to use. Uh, normally you don't want to banish these guys, like uh, Dakini or Edaten, but if you really do get enough of like maybe Dunamis, uh, Cyber Petite Angel, and maybe even Senju and some of these in the grave, then yeah, you can, you can banish them for this guy. And then just the effect to banish something on the field, it's really good. Uh, it gives you a lot of advantage. Uh, we're all running a, a mirror wall just for that defense, and we're using a bunch of ritual spells. Uh, we're also running one of the SR just because I wanted to try it out. Also, it kind of does help you sometimes when you have enough of these guys in the grave. Uh, not Sonic Bird. Sonic Bird doesn't work in the, uh, with uh, this card. Uh, it only works with, uh, I think, Fairy and Warrior. So, Sonic Bird doesn't qualify, but you can banish your Senju or your Dunamis in, in those situations. Even if we pitch a Sky Scourge for the Ritual, because it's also a level 8, so we can use it to get Dakini out. And you can use this, put him back in the deck, and get a Dakini out on the field. So there is a little bit of synergy there. This isn't the best Cyber Angel deck, but it's still pretty okay. Uh, so today, we're going to be using it in ranked. I think everyone got reset not too long ago. So I should be like in gold, probably. Uh, I think I might be in gold 1. I'm not sure. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. This deck should be okay for, go for gold 1. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. Who's first? Zima. Gold rank 1. Someone actually on my level. Alright, so, you got Rex Raptor, awesome. We're using Alexis. First time using Alexis in ranked. Feels so weird. Alright, so we're going second. Pretty good, we get an extra draw. So at least we have less chance of bricking. I expected a Dinosaur Kingdom. Master of Rights 2, so we start off with this card on the field. Alright. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go for a Ritual play, but I can definitely set Mirror Wall. Come on, give me a good card. Alright, there we go. We got a Ben 10 into Ben 10. Uh, so I think we definitely have a play here. I'm definitely gonna set this first. Uh, so let's go ahead and activate Machine Angel Ritual. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pitch a six for a six. 
So, and then we get the effect when pitching her. So we get Ben 10 sent to the grave, and now we're gonna get a search. I, I, that's what I say, man. Ben 10 is way too good to not run. I don't know why you wouldn't run her. You get you get a free fairy to your hand. It can add Dakini. Uh, we might be adding Edaten though, just because. I don't know. I, I like Edaten. Uh, we can also add a uh, Sire Petite Angel, and that can add us a thing too. Uh, but I, I kind of want. You know what? We can add it. We can add this guy, and then he can add. I like that play. I like that play. All right. So now. This one's got a pretty cool effect. So Benton's got a cool effect when it destroys something. It, it, this might be something annoying, like a... See. Oh, it is very annoying! <laughs> the definition of annoying! Alright, it doesn't send it to the grave, so we don't get our effect to inflict damage. So that's kind of lame. And also, we're going to be losing attack every turn. So, let's see what we could do. Alright. Are we affected? Yeah, we are affected. You do nothing, Ritual Cage! So, that thing comes out. That's fine. You can go ahead and attack me if he wants. Ooh, double summon. Does he get tribute? Or is he gonna get two monsters out? I'm actually curious here. He tributed! Ooh, nice! Pretty good. He's running Knight of the Red Lotus. Alright. Alright, I thought he was gonna run the dino. The tribute, tribute dino from the Rex event. Uh, so, pretty cool. Now what, Rex? What are you gonna do? Attack with the 21, you get wrecked, dude! Ooh! Ran into my mirror wall! Probably should have activated during the other step, but that's cool. We got rid of his annoying monster, and you take the 1800 of its defense! Ooh, that was a big hit, dude! You kind of danked out there. Kind of danked out. Alright. That's fine. Go ahead and uh, lose a little bit of, of whatever. I'm not going to pay for Mirror Wall because I don't really need it. I am going to go ahead and summon Senju though. Because Senju does let me add cards to hand. So it's plus city, boys. Alright, we're going to add... We could add Benton right now. And we can go for Benton. I mean, we do have the cards. Uh, we can also add this. I think I... No, not Benton. I mean, I'm talking about uh, Dakini. Alright, we're going to add Dakini. Screw it. We're just going to add Dakini. Alright. So, now... I am gonna go for this. See what we got. Probably gonna have to give up the two on my field, which is fine because Dakini can put in work by herself. And since we did send Ben 10 to the grave, we get another search. So that's freaking awesome, dude. Oh yeah, we got the Dakini out. Too bad she doesn't have an animation. This one, this is the one that should have an animation. So let's activate Dakini's effect. Our opponent has to send a card to the grave and activate Ben 10. So we're going to get a plus and our opponent's going to get a minus. That's pretty good. I mean, this deck has way too much advantage. Uh, we're going to add an Eda 10 because Eda 10 is, is really good. There's a reason why it's at one. Now our opponent has to choose which monster to send to the grave. He's only got one. There it is. All right, now we can go ahead and swing for game. Unless he's got a Karibo. No Karibo. Get wrecked. Rex. All right, so... I mean, this deck is really good. This deck puts in puts in a lot of work. Uh, I did notice also if you if you use the AI on it, AI plays it really dumb. So you just gotta be careful with that. Uh, the AI is not the best to play this deck, but it, it, it requires a lot of thought, like actually knowing what searches out what and uh, what process. So whatever, we got our first win, GG, and let's jump right into the next duel. All right, who's next? What do we got? Oh, I cannot read your name, but you're gold rank four. So, someone stronger than me. A lot stronger. Uh, apparently. I mean, they, they're probably not using Cyber Angels. Uh, <laughs> so, let's see if we can take out this person in gold rank four. Apparently, they outrank me. But rank is just a... Rank is just a rank, dude. It's, rank is just how many times you play. All right, so... Shut up. All right. I'm going first this time. Uh, I think it's smart to start off with a Senju. Start off with Senju because you get a search right off the bat. Also, we're going to be able to add something to get the Ben 10. Uh, I could go ahead and add this one. I'm going to go for this play right now. I'm going to add Edaton. Make it seem like I don't have any any plays right now. I'm going to pass. Let my opponent do his thing. He's got like a fusion deck right now. Going up against somebody. Don't tell me he's using like a five head dragon deck or something. I doubt it because he's using mountains. Uh, <laughs> that'd be freaking crazy though. Going up against a five head. Oh man, I mean we have lights. We could take them out. I know we can. We our our Dakini can get really strong. Also, we could just send it to the grave. So, 
Alright, that's fine. Go ahead and kill it. Now, or I can send Karibu. Actually, I kind of like that idea. We're going to send Karibu to the grave. Might as well protect it, right? I mean, you never know. We might draw another level 4 and start doing some other shenanigans. So, let's see. Oh, cool. Another Karibu. We actually benefited a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to go into some other plays. Look at this. Look at this. Machine Angel Ritual. This is the play I was talking about. We're going to special summon Edaton. And we're going to pitch this one. Alright. So Benton goes to the grave. Edaton gets summoned. Edaton's effect when summoned. Oh, yeah. Get out there, Edaton. Edaton activates. Benton also activates. Aw, oh, yeah, man. This is awesome. Alright, now we're going to get double searches. We're going to add a monster and a... Spell. So let's see. We're gonna add. I think it's smart to add a uh, Dakini. It's usually smart to add Dakini. Uh, we can also go for something cheeky. If we get enough fairies in the grave, we can summon Sky Scorch. Uh, now nah, we're gonna go for Dakini. Dakini smart. And then from there, we're gonna also add the Glossy. All right. I like this one. All right. So we're pretty good now. And what do we have in the grave? Uh, all right. If we had another Karibo in the grave. Uh, nah, you can't activate it because he's a fiend. But uh, let's see, right now we could also activate, send those two to the grave to get Dakini out and then get really, really strong. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Look at this, look at this play, dude. Look, we're going to get her in the grave and we're also going to, oh yeah, we can also use Karibu from the grave. I forgot about that. You know what? We're going to, we're going to go for game right now. We're going to go for game. I forgot about Karibu's effect. So this is amazing. Oh! Dakini on the field! Cyber Angel oh man, this deck is way too good. I'm not even running the optimal version. I, uh, at least I think. Uh, but we're gonna acti Angel activate Dakini's effect. effect. He's gonna have to send his monster to the grave. It doesn't get destroyed by battle, so... I don't think he comes Cyber back. Uh, Edaton activates as well. So my ritual monsters gain a thousand attack. 3700! That thing could almost OTK by itself! And I have the OTK! So, let's go ahead and... Get our game on, as Jaden would say. Ooh, insane! This deck is good. Oh man, this deck is crazy. See, those those are the plays that I'm talking about. The AI can't do those plays. Uh, but if you do have, like, if if you go into Eda Ten and uh, Ben Ten at the same time, like, go for one and the other, you can get a lot of advantage, dude. Summoning Eda 10 with Ben 10 into the grave, you get so much advantage. All right, so let's see what score we get for that. 40,000, all right. So, uh, what are we? I think we're still gold one, right? All right, so I think we're gonna do one more. We got a normal ticket, apparently. Barely on my second win. All right, I mean, I'm not lying to you guys. I'm just jumping in right now. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the next duel. All right, who's next? Uh, Rafa, 2502, neat, all right. Someone in gold rank 1. I mean, the other guy was gold rank 4, and we destroyed him. Another set of Kaiba, though. Uh, so, interesting. Ooh, I, if I win, I go up a rank. I hope I don't lose. Uh, so, let's see. Alright. He's probably using a beatdown. Alright. And I think... We're going second. Good. So, we get, we get to see his deck first. See what he's running. I don't know if it might be Phoenix or something. I just get that feeling, you know? So, let's see what he's got. Alright, so he's starting to set a card. Alright, cool. He actually waited quite a while. I cut all that out, but he waited for like a good 45 seconds. Alright, so... Okay. Oh, what are you... Oh, Naturia. He's getting Naturia beat down. I got it. I, I, I know what you're doing. I know what you're playing. So I know your back row is actually really annoying. Alright, so let's see what we draw. Ooh, <laughs> Sky Scorch. We don't need him now. We really don't need him now. But we are going to go for the Senju. Going to go for Senju. Uh-oh, he's got the power up. It's going to become, what, like 2,000? That don't matter. That don't matter at all. All right, we can legit go for Dakini right now. And I think I will. I'm going to start off strong. I'm going to start off strong because... I, I don't like his back row, to be honest. I don't like his back row. I really don't. All right, so we're going to activate this. See if he has any gate. If he does, I mean, well, I mean, I have this. Like, I I've seen people pull out freaking magic jammers out of nowhere. So we're going to special summon this one. Send him to the grave. Good cost er, for the Dakini. So there's that. 
Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and bring her out right now. Boss monster on the first turn. Uh, so we get to activate her effect. I think the only downside to Dakini is that she doesn't get any benefits from actually using her as a material. So that's one of the downsides, but eh, it's, it's alright. Uh, now that we have that, let's go ahead and attack. I'm pretty sure if she had a super rush, we don't have to fear it anymore. So let's uh, make sure we have everything. <laughs> yeah, we're good. This could be game if he has two super rush. No way this is another OTK, dude. No way! <laughs> another OTK! Ooh, this deck is OTK City! There must be some mistake. You have to oh, man. From OTK City! Alright, man. This deck is actually really good. I mean, given that we're playing people in gold one, but, I mean, how can you defend against that first turn? I mean, nobody plays Magic Jammer. You're not going to negate my my cards. Are you sure about that? This deck is surprisingly good. Like, I expected it to be good, but not OTK twice in a row good. Uh, so, GG, man. I mean, he, and he probably did have... There you go, gold rank 2. He probably did have, like, Super Rush Headlong or something. Because he would have activated a an Econ if he had it. But uh, let's see, we got some gold, and we got three victories. Uh, gold rank 2. I mean, we are going to be using this deck again in the future when I fully, like, upgrade it. I get my third Dakini, second Cyber Angel. I don't know about Senju, man. I, I don't know about Senju, but I think this deck is really strong. It's this deck is actually, and it's really fun to play because you get a, you get to think about your plays and what you're gonna do next, what to search for, and and you, plus is really hard. This deck is plus city and OTK city all in one. And if you are interested in using this deck, all you really need to do is farm Alexis Rhodes. If you don't know how to farm her, I actually did make a video on that yesterday. Uh, so if you want, go ahead and check that out. Pretty decent, actually. I actually found a pretty good method to farm her. But that's pretty much it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Links shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see ya guys!